left field. I tell you, the wind's blowing from left to right. He went, just cut right through the wind right. on that one. That's his first home run of the year. Only his fourth hit of the year. He's four for 21 now. He does have a triple and a double. So of his four hits, three are for extra bases. That right. one was a drive over the 375 foot sign, giving the Sooners a one to nothing lead here in the top of the third. Here's the pitch for Hanson away from him. Hanson in high school did give up home runs on occasion. Well, they've got to keep in mind that the ball, the high school ballparks in Bakersfield are band boxes. Yeah. And they're set up so that the wind blows straight out on half of them. Yeah. So uh, Centennial is great baseball program, but it's probably the biggest launching pad in town. So a leadoff home run makes it one nothing here in the top of the third. That is the second home run Hanson has allowed this season. He came into the game with a 4.18 ERA in 23 and two thirds innings. That ball was smoked. That's, that is for sure. Oh, I, you know, I thought initially he, he might be able to get under it, but it just kept going. Ground ball over to Jones. Jones going to get it out and make the play over to first. So one thing about the Jones uh, young men, uh, his brother Miles uh, was third baseman and shortstop here for and before he was drafted last year by the Rocky organization. And Malik now has taken over at, th at shortstop. Uh, there's no messing around. They got great throwing arms. Malik will actually pitches it occasionally as well. Had never pitched in a game since his high school days. Uh, until he got into a game earlier this season. The pitch in there for a strike. Kate Harris, freshman third baseman, uh, doubled and reached third on a wild pitch, but was stranded in the first inning. RBI single and walked uh, in his two plate appearances last night after coming into the game in the seventh. So he, the Roadrunners have not gotten him out yet. Hanson is ahead of him 0 2 now, though. Harris doubled it, like you said, in his first at bat. At bat. The 0 2 pitch in there low. The dirt dug out of there by Jake Ortega, your <coughs> catcher. Whole bunch of more fans showing up, and guess what? They're all in OU gear cheerleading <laughs> gear, everything. You name it, they got it. Well, we have a lot of strong Oklahoma elements yeah, here in Kern County. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, just misses there. 2-2 two 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 now on the count. Harris started to go, held up. Ball was a little bit down and in, I believe. This is the pitch he wants. It's 2-2 two two count. Doesn't want to go full count here. The pitch got him swinging. So well done by Andrew Hansen. Gave up that leadoff home run, but gets the next two, and that's going to bring up uh, Sheldon Noisy, the shortstop. Got the save last night. He pitched the ninth inning and retired the runners one, two, three for his second save of the year. Showed a little versatility. Missed his first game in his three seasons at OU on Sunday with a strained lower back. Obviously, wasn't serious because he's right back in the lineup. I'm, I'm sorry, that was the Fresno State game on Tuesday. Heard it on Sunday. Right back in the lineup here last night. Well, off-speed pitch, 75 miles an hour for the strike. Noisy looking at the one lead for the Sooners. Another strike inside. Got a bright red bat like a slugger. Got a grip all the way down to the bottom of the barrel. You know, he's. It'll be interesting to see how Andrew Hansen develops through the rest of the season. In the dirt. That's the first ball of this at bat here. Yeah, it'd be really interesting to see how he does once he gets into Western Athletic Conference play. Um, that really, uh, you know, everybody does so much scouting nowadays. They'll have a complete book on him and see how he adjusts to the adjustments made by other teams. And a little foul ball. Off his foot. Yep. That hurt. He's hobbling a little bit. One thing that's always been impressive about about Andrew is that he's not easily rattled, you know. The quarterback for the Centennial Golden Hawks here in Bakersfield. As we said, he was our 2015 B Varsity Player of the Year. And 
And now here comes the one and two pitch to Noisy. And Noisy pops it up. And will Carter get there? Will Metzger get there? Oh, just missed it. What a what an effort by Metzger. Metzger had a long way to go, yeah. but he had the best angle on it. Yeah, so he's he running over on the dead run, made a dive and all, you know, coughed up a little bit of dirt down the yeah. under the warning track there. Yeah, he didn't right. cough up a little bit of dirt, he got it down his pants. <laughs> I might cause some chafing later there, Jeff. Sorry. Well, you're right. There's uh, the equipment man will be doing a little laundry work yep. on his uniform after this game. The noisy continues the battle here. One and two on the on the count. The pitch, and it's going to hit right back to center, and Seelman's not going to get it. It's in the gap. We go all the way to the warning track. Take a bounce, and Noisy's in there with a double. So that was a solid at bat. Well, he's hit a slicing line drive, uh, breaking away from the center fielder, Seelman. He cut it off before it got to the wall out there, but uh, easy double, easy stand up double for Noisy. Right. Of course, that keeps the inning going for Jack Flansburg, the second baseman. He didn't clean up tonight, let off last night. Yeah, I think he changed his pants because he had like the high socks in the first inning. Now he's got the low socks. I think we have video of that. What's going on there? You can't do that in a game. There's not exactly a locker room facility down there. Well, I guess he just pulled them down. I don't know. That's weird. That'd be, you know what? If that was in the CIF, man, you'd be he would have been he would have been thrown out of the game. You can't do that. I love high school sports. We're talking about Division One sports, though, and you can do that. You can wear your high socks high in the first inning, and you can wear your pants low in the second inning. I don't know what it makes any difference. I don't think it has any impact in the game, so I don't know why they would make a big deal of something like that. You know how many times I've, I've had to cover a story where they've had uniform violations in the high school level here in the state of California? It's ridiculous. I think you just have to kind of look at it as being, you know, I mean, what's the intent of the rule? And What's the intent of him changing his pants in the middle of the deal? Did he tear them? I mean, come on, Jeff. These, these are important questions we got to ask. Well, maybe he got a little blood on him, you know, uh, something maybe. like that. That could be. Got into a fight, maybe? Uh, probably, yeah. The maybe, speculation, you know, is out of maybe control. Maybe he chewed his finger and it bled and he got a spot of blood on there to get it out of there. Or maybe he had a, a steak like you had the other night and it bled all over him. Don't think they have too many steaks in a clubhouse during games. <laughs> Two nothing here. We're punchy. We're only in the third inning. One nothing. Oklahoma, Landsberg is now comfortable here at 3-0, and and Hanson is starting to work a little bit, laboring a little bit. So Noisy got a uh, double there to the gap. So OU opened up the inning with a home run. And Hanson now behind in this at bat, 3-0. Here's the pitch, and he's going to walk him. Not close. Yep. Everything inside. Right fielder. So seven. two on, two Alex outs here Wise. in the top of the third. Alex Wise coming up, and Wise singled in his last at bat in the second inning. Fans kind of pleading here with Bakersfield to get it going a little bit. Let's not listen, lose, lose to Oklahoma twice in the same day, as they're probably thinking. <laughs> well, Oklahoma is more of a power hitting team. They have uh, the home run in this inning gives them 14 for the season. Bakersfield, by comparison, has three home runs this and, season. And the wind has picked up quite a bit. The pitch outside just misses. Of course, Wise, the batter here, hit one out last night. Singled in the second inning, but was stranded earlier in this game. Two on, two out. Four hits for OU. Two hits for Bakersfield. One nothing. OU leading here in the top of the third. Andrew Hansen on the mound for the Roadrunners. Off speed pitch, and that's going to land for a. Oh nope, got it. Nice play there. Thought it was going to fall in front of him, but the right fielder there. That was uh, Chance Gusbeth with the play. So very nice. So Jeff. 